Hey. Nobody has more selection than ground up Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Fiat. First, nobody else has more savings and specials than ground up Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Fiat. More service, the best financing options, and the number one sales in the industry. Ground Dodge Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Fiat on Head Town Road. What? I'm here, Oh, God. Yeah. Listen, I told everybody to come down here. You're getting right now. I told everybody to post it up. Wait, get in here right now. I posted up on here. So you're, so you're your fan club starting to uh, yeah, we're trying. show up our dads. <laughs> awesome. Can you, we're blaming my phone. Keith, you'll have the, the sounds out on the this is going on our side. When we go live on the radio, we'll need some talking about the Absolutely. <laughs> when we go live on the radio, they'll be able to hear, so we can give a shout out to them over there. Okay. <laughs> I took a picture of them and I saw them with my dad when I said, Family! Are they standing over there? Yeah. 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 That's our, yeah. our dad club. Aww. I didn't send them a picture like that, but that's when I said, Family. You should stand in the window and wave, then they'll see you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, three minutes, and we'll be live on the radio. For Tuesday, make sure you get your needle specs as well as ELL. Oh, that looks like a guy. Any of the girls? Eighteen. I'll sing that. Okay. Yeah, if you maybe if you refresh, you took the line. Yeah, it gets quiet. Uh, Dosh the over the ground before the game starts. Can I share for a couple of while I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna say hi to anybody you can say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes of your live on the radio. So it'll be like, everybody's really nervous. Ten <laughs> seconds. They are already nervous. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna have I'm fine. This, this is my first. I like that attitude. <laughs> Welcome to the Colossal Community Podcast on Colossal Radio. Heard the second and fourth Mondays of the month at 7. The opinions of this program are not necessarily that of Colossal Radio. Now, here's your hosts, Keith Hines and Lee Hancock. 
Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Colossal Community Podcast. I am your host, Keith, and I'm joined with my co-host, Sirius Lee. What up? <laughs> and we are broadcasting live at Off the Charts Music School in Delaware Avenue in Palmerton. Our show, we talk about positive things that are happening in and around the area, some events that are happening, and random topics. Tonight, it is the kick off to Leanne did it. <laughs> you see that? That's Chase. <laughs> <laughs> There's a police chase outside the station right now. Yeah. Tonight is our yearly kickoff show to get everybody in the spirit and ready for the fall high school sports season. The first half hour we had the Palmerton cheerleaders on. The second half hour we had the Lee Height and cheerleaders on. Plus, we have some colossal radio news to share with you and other fun things to talk about. But first, Leanne, we need to thank Palmerton for a great national night out. National night out was a blast. I had so much fun. I held snakes. Oh, wow. yeah, Stacy freaked out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, I don't know if Doc is listening right now, but we had people that were at the night in them, Palmerton. Yeah. And they were dancing. They were dancing with us. Yeah. They said we were spinning better tunes. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> said Billy Eiden music was like old folks. So yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you again, Palmerton, for a great night. We can't wait to be back next year because we already claimed we'll be Yeah, back. we claim Palmerton yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get started with the cheerleaders. Welcome. Are you excited? Yes. I'm very excited. You want to introduce yourselves? Um, I'm Cadence, and I'm one of the two varsity captains. And my name's Haley. I am the other varsity captain this year. Right. So you're both seniors? Correct. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> so this is your last season cheering. It's going to be a teary one, I'm sure, because oh, there's going to sure. be a lot of <laughs> for first, sure. first, last. Yes, yeah. Last, right? first. Yeah, no. last first. Last first. Mm-hmm. Last first. Well, it could be either way. True. Yeah. Could be. First, last, last, first, last, yeah. Yeah. So, what are you looking forward to most going into your senior year of cheering? Okay. Um, mostly just working with new people, like the freshmen that are coming up, working with our new coaches, of course, and just being very close with the other seniors and just making it a really good last year. Yeah, um, honestly, the same thing that you said, just improving and uh, working with the other girls. Um, just, I feel like throughout all the years of cheer, most of my years of cheer, we've always become a family, so it's always fun each year to make like a new family bond. And just, we're like all sisters, it's like all second family. So I'm really excited to see how far we go with stunting and everything this year, of course, because that's our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not the only two seniors then? Correct, yes. one other one. Yeah. Um, okay. Shout out to Haley. Yeah, <laughs> the other Haley. <laughs> Haley, Haley, and Cadence, that's easy to remember. <laughs> so what is your role as a captain? What, what is your job? Um, basically to just, you know, have a role model for the younger kids that are moving up and just to show them how, like, fun cheering can be and, like, what the team can be made of. Yeah, I would say, like she said, just to be a role model and to be someone that they can feel comfortable coming to. Um, if they have any questions with any new material or things that they learn, and just to have fun. Like, I always like to make sure everyone's having fun, whether that's band dances or just goofing around at practice, <laughs> even though we get yelled at most of the time. <laughs> 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 All good things. All good things, though. <laughs> so, obviously, the band dances are fun. Cause, oh, yeah. Yeah, because they're just, like ones that you do over and over again and build up the crowd, right. whatever. What else about Friday nights like gets you hyped? Um, mostly the crowd. You know, um, just seeing everybody like into the game and it kind of just makes us more excited when we're winning or the student section. You know, it's kind of just like the crowd. So they interact well together. Yeah. 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 Um, I would say, speaking of the band, they have a new director this year, so we're really excited to work with them and the new material that they have. Um, and we, we just bond with the band so well. Like, yeah. We just have this connection with the band, and I feel like the cheerleaders and the band always have had that connection. So, looking forward to that, but like Cadence had said, just the crowd and 
see, seeing everyone there with their blue and especially this game it's going to be very fun and it's always interesting to see how the student sections <laughs> go back and yeah. forth. So is this your favorite team that you play, Lee Heighton, or? Probably. Yeah, because yeah. it's a rival. It's a rival. Yeah, yeah, most interesting. I and I have, I have family from Lee Heighton and who play on the team, so. So oh, it gets nice. a little dirty. It gets competitive, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my boyfriend actually plays for Lee Heighton, so. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no. That's awesome. So how big is your squad? Um, there's only 15 or 16 girls on the nice. squad this year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot smaller than last year, but they're working very well. Like everybody's getting along very well so yeah. far, and we're having fun. Yeah. Well, it's not quantity; it's quality. Quality, right? Yeah. So, everyone's in sync. Everyone knows what they're doing. Everyone's working together. Nobody's mm -hmm. falling on their face. Well, I fell on my butt a few times today, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but everybody laughed, and we moved on, and it was fun. <laughs> it was funny to watch, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all know the sports team have off-season workouts and stuff. What is it like for the cheerleaders? Do you have workouts during the off-season? Um, yes, we do. So we actually just started this year in the um, lifting room. Um, we've never done it before, but yeah, we just started. We also have stunting workshops that we practice our stunting, and then regular practices, which we use to practice, kind of get ahead with some band dance material and cheers and stuff. So it's like a preseason look of what practices are gonna kinda be like, but it's time for us to like get working and get ahead for the season. Yeah. So Pomeranian's got the ripped cheerleaders this year because they're going to be <laughs> yeah, yeah, like So we have some gym buffs for sure on the <laughs> yeah. squad. Some of them really like to get in there and lift the weights and squat the bars and everything. So I think it's also fun to see everybody kinda getting used to it and trying mm -hmm. new things with it because some of these girls are like skinny mini. Yeah. Yeah. They're building muscle though. You can see the improvement for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We know that the last couple of years the Palmerton Lee Heighton game has been played in Palmerton this year at Sim Lee Heighton. <laughs> Any thoughts of going to the Indian Territory? Um, I'm actually very excited because it's going to be something different. We're playing on somebody else's field especially Lee Heighton's field. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm a little intrigued, I would say, is a good word for it. Um, <laughs> sorry, we have some Yeah, it's not Friday night lights tonight, it's Friday yeah. night lights. Yeah. I think something's going down. Some yeah. People <laughs> there's, this, there's apparently a police officer in Palmerton that needs to make his quota. <laughs> <laughs> there are cops everywhere. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so it's definitely a different feel because I don't even remember the last time I cheered on Lee Heightens Field, so it's going to be interesting because I know both sides are very competitive, especially we're rivals, so yeah. Yeah, but it's a, okay, so I mean, I was, I was Lee Heighton, right? I've always experienced the Palmer Lee Heighton game. Yes, it's a rivalry, but it's like a fun rivalry. Right, it's yeah. not like... Like, you know, honestly, when we played Jim Dorp, like, things got a little yeah. Yeah. rough sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Palmer and Lehigh is never like that because, it's, it's, I don't know, we don't hate each other. We just, it's just like a we're just fun competitive. competitive. Right. We yeah. just try to get in each just other's Just in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go to Palmer and Lehigh? I went to Lehigh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the cops are around. Yeah. <laughs> I hold no bias, though. I did go to Palmerton for elementary school, so I did spend some time there. My brother graduated from Palmerton. So, yeah. yeah. I know some girls on the Lee Heighton squad, and they're just really nice. So, we, yeah. we always like we support each other. Together. And stuff. Oh my gosh, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I'm sure we have some dances that are similar. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys have a mascot? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, we do. Yeah. But it's an eagle, which doesn't really make sense because we are the bombers, which right. represents the plane. So I'm not sure why we have an eagle. I'm pretty sure one of the kids in the student section kind of just made that up and just but, you know, brought like, it to life. They have so. fun with it. That's all yeah. that matters. And yeah. I think it's cool to have something. So I know B. Heighton has their get up, and yeah, that's it's really cool to be honest. I've seen yeah. pictures and stuff and what he does, but um. Uh, I think it's cool to at least have something, but yeah. they, they definitely have fun with it. I see all the videos everywhere and everything. <laughs> well, what would you What would you even do with an air a guy an air, or a girl dressed as an airplane? Well, you could, You'd almost need a drone. You should like as a mascot. Yeah, a drone. Yeah. 
drone plane. You fly around. <laughs> like go over people's heads <laughs> and do like tricks or whatever. Shoot paper planes out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drop tiny little water bombs. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just not in the winter games. Oh, no. Please. <laughs> the snowballs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That's perfect. Oh, they're like hot. We gotta get on this. Yeah. We, we gotta talk to you about this. Yeah, we have. We to. gotta talk to the eagle guy. Yeah. You know, last year, eat. last year we tried to get the two mascots, Bowden and Lee Hyten, to have a dance off. Yeah. But both mascots backed out. Do you think you can try to encourage yeah. that to happen? We gotta do something. I think about we that. could. I'm pretty sure whoever was in the mascot last year has graduated since then. But oh, so I'm sure there's somebody stepping up right there, like yeah. ready to take over. But that. Definitely be interesting to watch. Yeah. 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 yeah, a dance off. Yeah, we tried to do it last year and they're like, no, no, we can't we're not gonna do it. So we gotta we gotta make it happen. You know? Check in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have any new cheers for this year? Um yeah, we do have a lot of material. We have new cheers, new dances, um, new stunts that we've been working on, new mm -hmm. quarter cheers. It's kind of just a lot of mix ins things. with both. We have old stuff, we have new stuff. Yeah. Just improving on, I guess, the old stuff too. Changing a little bit here and there. Yeah. So, do a lot of your cheers get the uh, crowd involved? Um, some of them do. I mean, it's very loud in the stadium, <laughs> so I'm not really sure if they listen yeah. to us. I think you it's know. more the stunt cheers that really get yeah. them. So, if we have a stunt in a cheer and like we're like directly in front of the student <laughs> section, which they tend to be the loudest out of everyone in the crowd. <laughs> So they usually kind of participate with us. We have a few like chants and stuff with them that we've been yeah. working on. So. The student section is definitely they go all out with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you want to teach Leanne a cheer? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know this was happening. Um, I didn't either. I just came you up just with came it. up with that right now. All right. You, know, like, you can't do any stunts in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was just gonna ask, but I guess not. I mean, the ceiling's pretty high. <laughs> All right. All right, Leanne's <laughs> gonna learn a cheer okay. here, so. Okay, yeah, so can we face this way? Sure. Well, it's gonna mess it up. <laughs> Let's just face this way. Well, I can face this way. It's fine. No, you can watch us this way. Yeah, okay. Right okay, ready? Okay. So it's blue, white. Oh, I'm not going. Blue, white, go bombers. Blue, white. Blue, white, go bombers. Blue, white, blue, white, go bombers. <laughs> nice. That was that was not you could have done that. Yeah, I could have done. That. I was doing it with you. <laughs> yeah, you were doing it with me. Okay, I I should on the team. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we do have your coaches here in the background, so you can. They're call them out here. To yeah. And you said they're new this year? <laughs> they are. They are new. And they're bringing all of this new stuff for us, like the weightlifting, the stuff workshops. They've been bringing a lot of this new stuff in for us, so we're very grateful to them because we didn't have uh, the possibilities before, so it's nice to have them around, you know? Yeah. It's Chrissy Rizika <laughs> and Joy Divino. Nice. Well, thank you for giving these girls an expanding inventory of things. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> they love us. So oh yeah, but then I need to ask you: Are they pain in the butt to work with? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. I, coach, sometimes. I coach them too when they were little. Oh yeah. Okay. Booster yeah. club. <laughs> so she's yeah. following you. So oh yeah. yeah, she is. Kind of. Yeah. She loves them. Now they're good girls. <laughs> they are. They're good role models. Thank you. <laughs> so what's it like holding that banner for the team to run through? Are you like terrified? Like, oh boy, here we go. We're going to go for a ride. Or... Um, honestly, one of the one of these like games, I just want to run with them. But, you know, <laughs> I hold myself. Like, I hold myself, <laughs> myself um, back. But yeah, it's the fun. football players could hold the banner, and then we can run yeah. through, and, and then we'll switch. Maybe yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So is it, do you make the banners at every, every We actually season? just yeah. made some today. We made a whole bunch for the season. Um, you can check it out on our Instagram, um, at PHS underscore varsity underscore cheer. Um, I've been kind of running that account a lot this season. Um, I love doing it. So we, I always post the new things that we do, and whether it's stunting or like today with the banners. Um, I'll be posting themes for the games. 
Um, but yeah, we just made some banners today. It was really fun to see what the girls came up with. Um, we have one in store for the Lehigh game, which we picked out specifically. Is it classy? Oh, it's secret, though. Secret. secret. You gotta, you gotta have, come to the game have to see it. cheerleaders out there in the lobby. Yeah, so they're, yeah. Waiting. They're, they're waiting. waiting. Yeah, they're, all, <laughs> they're, they're probably listening right now. That's okay. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm glad that you still make banners because I see a lot of people just buy those like rebreakable banners yeah, that like right. say like go team or whatever. Yeah. It's so much more fun when they're like individualized for the right. game. Right, yeah. It's more so, personal. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. So you just like get together and you just pound a whole bunch out. Yeah, we yeah. were together from like 9 o'clock till 12 today just painting banners and they turned out really well like I said. Very proud. Cool. <laughs> so I guess we have to show up to see the Lehigh. Yeah, I guess we're not going to tell us. Wear your blue though. Make sure you're wearing blue. Yeah. <laughs> With your number one blue foam finger. <laughs> <laughs> With your can cowbell. You, can you get a blue foam finger? I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. We actually have some spirit wear out too for us. Um, it's on the Facebook page for Cheer. I'm sure the link will be shared somewhere. Um, we just released a lot of new spirit wear. So buy some nice. and then wear it to the game. I want to see your spirit wear. <laughs> My I, spirit wear. I, I need you to wear like some kind of shiny. <laughs> you have to wait till the game to see. And then you do that cheer that we just did. All right, I'll do it. I'll run out in the field and. <laughs> just no streaking. It's high school. Right. Yeah. Streaking's out. Well, right, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you have any fun. advice for younger cheerleaders that are like thinking about? coming up through the high school rankings that aren't sure? Um, yeah. Um, honestly, just be yourself. That's basically what makes the team come together, is being yourself, having fun, just becoming like a family, like you said earlier. Yeah, um, if you're scared that you feel like I have no coordination at all, I can't do band dances, you know, you fit in. You're, there's always a place to fit in on the squad, and if you ever need help, the girls are so nice, and they will help you with any and everything you need. So just get out there and push yourself to try new things and get out of your comfort zone. Because you definitely do that cheering in front of a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to miss most? So when your last game arrives, obviously it's going to be, <laughs> you know, tugging on those heartstrings. Yeah. What are you going to miss most about Friday Night Football? Um, probably going to school and talking about it, everybody getting excited to either ride the bus or meet at the field and just be under the lights with everyone in the stands, the student section, just like my hometown people. Yeah, I think I'm going to miss the band the most because like I said, we just always have this connection. So whenever we do a cheer, they always try to do it with us or like after we do a cheer, they'll yell for us. and. I think I'm going to definitely miss the band the most, but like she said, just being in that environment with that vibe that it's Friday night, you're under those lights. Yeah. Do you think either of you are going to do Saturday Night Football come next season? <laughs> um, no, sadly. I'm, <laughs> college is, you know, a lot of stress put on me, yeah. so I think I'm just going to stick with it <clears throat> this year, ending it. Yeah. But sad yeah i don't think i'm gonna either sad, sadly just because like she said just kind of focusing on getting started with my future but i'm definitely going to show up to some games and still be there to support you know our girls who will be left on the team and then just the team in general the football team yeah the okay. band so at what point i know school didn't start yet but next friday what part of the day do you get into that game mood where here we go it's time um Probably Monday, like the week of. Oh, the whole like, week then? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> eager, can't sleep at night, I'm just ready to go. Yeah. Mom I would say the same. Sense. Yeah, I'd say beginning of the week, but I think the morning of is really like, yeah. oh my gosh, like it came in the flash of an eye, you know? Yeah. It comes up real quick. Um, but one thing I will say is I go to CCTI, um, and it's really interesting because there's a mix of schools up there. so. When we play against Jim Thorpe, you have the rivalry with those kids, and then we heighten the rivalry with those kids, and it's just really interesting to see up there, especially because it's not just your home school, right. so everybody's you know, rooting for yeah, the same you know, connection with all yeah. the schools, basically. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Sometimes the guys like bicker back and forth the football <laughs> players, and it's just interesting to sit there and listen to. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to a commercial break, and we'll be right back.
They've become a solid member of the community in the past five years. They take so that wasn't so bad, right? Right? Yeah. 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 They're known for their warm customer service. Want to say the hi? Friendly to anybody or Lunch, hey. specials, hey. and hey. fun food. <laughs> it's Cindy's Deli, <laughs> located <laughs> next to Pfeiffer's Ice Dam. Which are prepared fresh in in. Sydney's <laughs> Deli yeah. in Franklin Township. Sydney's Deli also provides full service catering for corporate functions and other events. And they'll Eric, Eric says, What's up, ladies? Oh, gosh. Oh. Check out Deli hey, Dad. Hey. Lunch, specials, you should have brought the dogs. So yeah. More. Sydney's Deli Those are our uh, actual little cheer mascots. So. Yeah, to be honest. Make sure to give them we got a Piper. I have a miniature golden doodle. I have a mini furry doodle. Aww. So they're energetic. <laughs> Crazy. Probably more than us. Yeah, on the field. <laughs> For sure. We'll get them a little pump On display, on on retro feet. bikes, mountain bikes, beach cruisers, and electric trikes. They even have the compact foldable bikes. Um. Cutting edge and state of the art, the Bronson e bikes and trikes showroom located inside the Hofford Miller Bikes Board. Stop by and take a demo ride today. Hell farther, go faster with brass new bikes and trikes. I got like 30 seconds on back on the radio and we'll have like Get yourself a nice seven minutes or so if you want to talk about all the things you want to talk about the game or whatever. They'll even do your nails and make sure you're feeling great from head to tail. It's country flippers and bombers and for 22 years, Stacy and Jennifer have been bad for new pets. So if you're looking for a little pet food and service, and an experienced staff. It's got your clippers. Get your best dreams and give them the care they deserve. Get your clippers and promises. Find them online. Hi. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Glossy Community Podcast. Leah and I are talking with the uh, Palmerton cheerleaders, and they're ready to go for Friday, aren't they? They are. Next they Friday. A, they have a big banner waiting for the football team that's probably going to say something mean about the Indians. No, <laughs> yeah. no, I wouldn't say mean. It's top, it's top secret, we know that. Yeah, it's very top, top secret. They have the cops circling around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> very, <laughs> <laughs> they brought all everything with them tonight. Yeah. They mean business. Hey, there's Lee Hyten people coming into town so they're blocking all the exits. Yeah, so. Right. All right, so we have fri- next Friday is the, the football game, and uh, what is your prediction? What do you think the score is going to be? Obviously, I know you think Palmer is going to win, but what's yeah. the, what do you think the score is going to be? We said maybe like 42, 42 to 18. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a lot. I mean, <laughs> I have some friends on the football team, and they said uh, they think they're going to do pretty good. So. I uh, saw so you have some inside. Knock, yeah. knock on what? Inside scoop yeah. Yeah. of the football team. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. What do you guys score? think? Hmm. Well, I think Pomerden ha- definitely has had a really great team. Right. Um, <laughs> and they have to have some work to do. <laughs> Which I can say that because you can't deny facts. Right? Right. So, I, I I mean, unless something drastic has happened with the height and them, I'm kind of with them. I can't comment on boyfriend's probably watching. I got to be careful what I say. I mean, they <laughs> have a committed D1 athlete already. Yeah, there's a few of them. Shout out to Matt Mahalik. <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking for, like, some real excitement. That's it. Yeah, yeah, you know? Uh, I mean, nobody think wants a runaway game. Right. That's just yeah. news, right? No, that's, like, so boring. Yeah, it's right? usually pretty back and forth. Yeah. To, like, the third quarter, Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, and then it kind of flies on from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm so I was in the band. Oh. And I after like cuz you we have off the third quarter, right? right. Yeah. So once that happens, it's like you sneeze and it's done. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The season's yeah. done. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just like I mean you yeah, just like, you, you wait right? like it's a 15 minute period, right? It's 15, right? Quarter, the quarter. Yeah. quarter. <laughs> so you spend like twelve of those minutes waiting in line for food. Shovel it down real quick. Then you gotta get back to the stands, and then like it's like it's two done. minutes left. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you do anything else besides cheering? Are you any sports or anything like band? Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. Sadly, no. I used to do a lot of sports, but I kind of. Narrowed it down to cheerleading because I found it was my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I'm involved in quite a bit, <laughs> both at CCTI and at Pomeran. Um, as far as Pomeran goes, though, I'm in the drama club and the high school chorus. So those are really fun. My musical side shows there. <laughs> I don't like how you said band in that question. <laughs> well, I didn't know if they were in band as well. I, was like, I wish. And other sports and it were band. Well, you can't uh-huh. forget the band. I mean, <laughs> they're part of the. So the way you said it rubbed me wrong. The band. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in band or anything like that. I know so. you have to have like skills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The I concentration. Know, the <laughs> it's crazy. Me and Haley. That's why to I just walked around the track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheerleaders that wanted to be in the band at the same time. Yeah. But that's a lot of work. To be it's hard. hard. For, uh, like a yeah. first year thing. Yeah. Probably not smart. Yeah. <laughs> we had a couple that did. That did both. We even had, a, I think, a football player yeah, in the band. Yeah, a football player that was in the band, cool. yeah. So, you know, they just double their efforts. So you do you cheer in other sports like basketball, wrestling as well? Uh, yes, yeah. we do. Basketball and wrestling specifically. Yep. yep. So how does that transition go into a loud crowd to a smaller, quieter crowd? Um, I mean, it's still very loud in the gym because, you know, it's Palmer Tim, so <laughs> can't really keep our mouths quiet. But um, no, I kind of like it. It's kind of like a subtle way to end the season because um, you're going from the cold outside end of the football <laughs> season to warm inside. So yeah, that's right, kind yeah. of a good transition. Here's a question. So for basketball, do you cheer for girls and boys? Just boys. Yeah. I would love to cheer for girls. Yeah, too. me too. Yeah, but girl power. Girls. Yeah. They should get some cheerleaders. They should get a male cheerleading squad. They yeah. should, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's we how love some males started. on our team, yeah. that's yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's how cheering started. They were all guys back in the 1800s. That's how everything yeah. started, because women weren't allowed to do anything. They were supposed to make yeah. babies and clean the house. Yeah. So <laughs> they didn't do sports or, like, right. any, yeah, or have jobs. Or, it all started with men. But then they realized women could do it better. Yeah. <laughs> so go. then they were like, well, I guess we'll let them do this. And they just never went back. There you go. Plus, we look better in the school. Just too good. <laughs> yeah. Pop bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we have a couple of minutes left. Do you want to do one more cheer? Yeah, mm-hmm. for realsies one. Yeah, because uh, we are sitting out there and they're mm-hmm. like looking at Yeah, you look at, go to the window and cheer and look them right in the face. <laughs> do it. I dare ya. I can't do it. <laughs> that look, they're, they're all looking in. They're yeah. all looking yeah. over there. Let's say hi. We're just gonna leave. <laughs> yep. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, now they're doing it. There, there you go. There you go. Oh, hello. There we at the window. Hi. Tell that guy behind you to say hi too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, one last cheer. Yeah. Cheer. Cheer it up. Um. Let's see. Let's see if we do. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we got a good one. Okay, the camera. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Here, I can go. Let me look. Here, Beat the Indians. Go! Go! Go, Bombers, go! Beat the Indians, go! Go! Go, Bombers, go! Beat the Indians, go! Go! Go, Bombers, go! Beat the Indians, go! Go, go, Bombers, go! Yay! Yay! All right, thank you guys for coming. Have a great season. Have a great senior year, and best of luck to you. We'll see you next Friday at the gate. That's thank right. you guys for having us. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, up next, we have the rival. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right? The hallway. Are you, you going to have the police escort come back? <laughs> yeah. All right, we have some Colossal Radio news. Don't forget to get your tickets for Jeep Fest. That's September 3rd, 11 a.m. Yeah. to 5 p.m. held at the Hopper Mill. You don't need a Jeep, but you need a ticket. So make sure you go on to Colossal Radio's website and buy your ticket, food, drinks. Uh, there's three bands playing, Burn the Jukebox, Blunt, and Psych. Uh, there's e-bike giveaways. Uh, you can test your machine out with a flex machine and just added there's going to be a mechanical bowl 
and Doc is challenging that he can outlast anybody on the mechanical hole. So if you're you know what? I I want to see it because he shot that live, right? And it wasn't and moving. It, it wasn't moving. <laughs> it wasn't moving. <laughs> so I don't know. I this is twice now I've called Doc out today yeah. or show. We are. So um, I need some responses. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get some soon. I'm sure we will. All right. Let's welcome the district. What is it? I'm going to get this wrong. District 11, 2A small champions. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did, did you hear Palmerton out there? Yeah. Talking? They got a special banner that we're not allowed to see for the game. They have a special banner. So. Yeah. For the team, they made some fancy banner. Yeah. They, for us. No, for the team. Uh, for the team. For the team. Well, we just got a new breakaway banner this year as well. So it will be the debut of our breakaway banner mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. I was the first one to run through it. Well, actually, she was actually. <laughs> <laughs> Did it actually like break for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Ran through the wrong way too. She did. Oh. She was excited. <laughs> That, that's how we do things. Like, what can yeah. I say? I feel like I'd be nervous to be, to be the guinea pig yeah. to run at it. It's just not, not her. her. Not I just her. covered it full force, expecting, hoping it was just pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong way, too. Although it's better than the one we had last year. It's, the Velcro didn't Velcro anymore, so they would have to stand in the middle and hold it. Yeah. Stop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then we would have to like, hold it. They would like hand it over to the football players. Yeah. And so then they would get trampled. So that's what we got. Yeah. So we got everyone. Courtesy of the Parrots Club, they, the football club and the cheer parrots came together and bought us a new one. So nobody has to hold the banner together anymore. That's good because I feel like that's a liability. Just a little bit. All right, before we get started, please introduce yourselves. Tell everybody out there. In you again. Start us off. I'm Jacqueline. I'm Riley. I'm Megan. And I'll coach Trisha. <laughs> so are you ready for the season to start? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Did you just see Palmer and they had the police here looking at the light, like, oh, the light's coming. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it was, as we were coming in, they were coming out, and I were like, all right, oh, yeah, we're, see, we're they behaved, did, we promise. Yeah. Yep, yeah, they did set you up then. I mean, you're on rival territory now, <sighs> but... The way around next week. That's, That's right. right. Give yeah. a week and see how so, the tables have turned. We'll start there. Last couple of years, it's been in Palmerton. Now it's in Lee Heighton. What do you think the atmosphere is going to be like on the Lee Heighton side? Is it going to be the same or is it going to be wilder? I think it's going to be more like everyone's going to be so excited that it's at our stadium. It's like for the past years, we've been trying. I guess we've been trying to get it at our stadium, but it's like we've gone there. But Compared to like our home games and our away games, we don't get much people who are away games because a lot of it's traveling. But with it coming to our stadium, it's going to be more packed. And with being the next town over, I guarantee Palmer is going to be the same way. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be electric. It's, yeah. like, I think it's, it's going to be good. like a dream come true. Like, yeah. I think Lee Hayden's going to be really excited to be able yeah. to see like a close town in our stadium. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a, a good season opener it is. for sure. Yeah, yes. yeah. Set the mood. Set the mood. Set the pace for the season. That's right. right. Yeah. Let's hope so. So, what are you looking forward to most about this season now that you're seniors? Um, I'm looking forward to comp season of all things. <laughs> like football season. Okay, I I got the experience of it last year and some of my sophomore year, but I'm most definitely ready to come back for comp season. That's, yeah. I'm mostly down for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited because it's like our last year group with these girls, and it's like a bittersweet moment because like it's our last year, and like it's exciting for us. We've waited for 12 years to be seniors, and like it's bitter because it's like our last year. But I'd like to make it our best year. I'm really excited because not only is the seniors my friend group that I've been friends with forever, but it's like we've been cheering together for years and then to put it to the last year it's crazy to think about it doesn't feel real yet but it's so exciting to put it, all of our skills together and then just show everyone what we can do but comp season is definitely where i think we shine the best all right coach it's your second year coaching mm -hmm. a little different than last year more confident more what is it 
Where so I last year when I came in, um, I told the girls and I told everybody that we were doing a rebuilding here. We we started from the ground, and you can ask them. When I came in, we started with motions, jumps, the basics of everything, so that we could make sure that we were building on a firm, solid foundation. And then, as I pushed them throughout the season, like I saw things, and it was like, oh, I can push them a little harder here. This season, I came in and I told them, I said, all right, so we're gonna come in full force this year because I know what you can handle now. Um, so it's pushing them, and my big thing I tell them all the time is I will never ask you to do something I don't know you can do. Now I'll come to them and be like, we're trying this today, and they'll look at me like I got three heads, but then <laughs> we start working on it, and they realize, oh wait, I can do it. Um, so being able to come in with like a bigger plan this year, I'm super excited about. Yeah, when she told us that we were doing like sort of stunts and like competitions coming around, like wait, I was ready to look at her and laugh. Like, <laughs> like she was funny, but like when she put me in, it's like, oh wait, this is a lot easier than I was running through my head. It's like you just have to put it past. Like, mm -hmm. there's no stopping. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Anybody? <laughs> No. I don't know. I really love our coach because she doesn't give up on us and she'll push us to like we hit what she wants us to do. Like she has expectations for us that she knows we can hit and she doesn't give up. Like she'll let us work as hard as we need to to achieve what she wants us to have. So it's really great to have her. Yeah, like a lot of it was that like past years it's like we didn't hit it once or twice. Like we give it three times and it's like didn't hit. Okay, let's just let's just go to an easier scale. It's like, you know, like this season, is, there's no like stopping and going backwards. No, it's always you continue forward. Yes, yeah. that's, that's my motto. I always say you can't go back, you have to always go forward. Well, one of the big things is I'll give them a skill that I want them to do. Like one of them's, they're called switch ups. It's where you start going up on one leg into a lib, but when you get to the top, you switch your feet. It is a very difficult skill, but I know that they can handle it. So as we're working on them, like some girls are getting them faster than others. So it's like, okay, you keep working on those. Let's get you stronger in your lifts. Like, let's work on that. So it's finding, as a coach, it's the same when you teach. It's finding who thrives in one area and like, okay, you got that. Let's push you on, but let's still work with the other groups as well so that everyone can be on the same page. But I'm not holding anybody back or making them bored or whatnot. Because once you start losing their interest, I mean, I love them dearly, but their attention span sometimes is that of a flaw. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah. So, that being said, with all these new skills and your new passion for competition, because you had such a great competition season last year, are you going to incorporate a lot of that into Friday nights? Or are you just like holding that? So over? some of it we will, some of it we won't. Some of the stunts we actually can't do off of mats. We have to do them on mats. Um, we will incorporate some of it, but like our pyramid that we're working on for comp, we started working on it. That one we're going to kind of keep in our back pocket, but you'll definitely see the girls flip, like there's going to be a lot of flipping stunts where they're pulling them up, they're flipping upside down. Um, definitely some eye openers and when people are like, oh, it's easy, come on over, we'll, we'll see if you can handle it. <laughs> yeah. So, I think they did the one stunt like 50 times today and it was just gosh, over. Don't remind them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like repetitively doing it is what gets it to the perfect level. So yeah. it's not like you try it so many times and then it's like, we've been doing this forever, like can we just stop? No, like determination is to get it is what really gives us the like yeah. drive to do it so many times. If you go home sore, you're, you're doing it yeah. right. I'm <laughs> sore. Like, I can't like, a lot of the times that we do at competition, I can't wait to put out on like the track. It's like you're, some of the fans don't think that we can hit things, but it's like when we hit it, it's like their mouth drop. Right. Like they just hit that, and then you really get them going. It's it's really fun. I yeah. it. It's very like mentally challenging on you, like when you try it like fifty plus times. It's like 
it's not hitting, it's kind of that point where you're like, we're not going to get it, but then once you get it, it's almost like very rewarding, right. and it's like every time after that, it's consistent, and it's the best feeling. Yeah, it's a long game, so it yeah. more pays off. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, and then I'm sure the crowd goes nuts. When you um, do those crazy things, The people right? who care love it. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are just there for the football, but the ones who look at us, like the little kids, like the little girls in Booster Club cheer, they love watching us. You'll see them, like, like mocking us like what with what we're doing. And when they see us do those, like, challenging or, like, cool stunts that just, like, draw their eye, they love it. And I know that one day they, they look up to us, so I know one day they're going to want to be on that track and do what we do. So it's really fun to do stuff and have them watch us and, like, us inspire them to continue being a cheerleader. Well, I mean, even since we were in school, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure since then, people have really come to the football games to watch the cheerleaders in the band. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Our band is crazy. They love oh, our band. You mean there's a game? Yeah. We yeah. showed up for what? <laughs> yeah. But, like, a lot of our stunts, it's, like, preps, extension, lips, like, that really doesn't catch them, but, like, when you're throwing up baskets and it's, like, you have, like, the really strong girls that are, like, Girls that are flying to the lights, we'll leave it at that. Like that, <laughs> it's like, oh, so like, wow. wow, they just did that. And, like, well, yeah. and I think one of the things that's really rewarding for us is when we try. We're an all-girl team. We're not co-ed. Uh, when you start getting into that co-ed side, you got the guys who are helping, and let's be real, they can throw That's mostly over. them. Right. That's yeah. a lot of them. So the fact that we're an all-girls team and we are able to hit some of those co-ed stunts. Um, I know Megan the other day was doing what's called a one man. She's the only one under the flyer helping them flip and whatnot. So we're able to hold our own on that. And that's where um, they're really going to shine because they can absolutely hold their own on things. Like, I'm glad that I'm able to do that. Like, I know there's like a few other girls that are like willing to try and everything. Like, at first it didn't hit and like, I gave up on myself, but then she came about and was like, no, you got this. Like, she boosted my confidence, and then that's when I was able to hit things, and it's, like, it's really interesting to show the fans and everything. It's like, wow, there's only one girl underneath her. Like, that gets them really going. Yeah. Very cool. They say how passionate they are about this. Yeah, they are. It's so fun. They are really passionate. (laughs) It's something that you can continue growing on. Like, you, I feel like you never lose passion for it because... You start at the bottom and you build your way up. Like you go in there and you might not have any knowledge about it, but you're always learning new things. So there's no like, you can't lose interest in it. It's so fun. Well, and I think one of the nice things with cheering is the sport itself is always evolving. Like, I mean, it's evolved immensely since we were in school. Um, When I was in school, it was all extensions, lids, like you didn't flip at all. You weren't allowed to now as a coach like I know I have to every year go through the new rules see what things have changed there were 11 new I think 11 new rules this year that I had to go through figure out what they were where are we legal what can't we do this year what are they now legalizing for us Um, so the sport itself is evolving and I think one of the biggest things for us this year is that they just announced that cheerleading is now an Olympic sport so that like really kind of solidifies what it is that we're we're doing at this level and pushing it even further right all right you guys want to do a cheer for us i think you should do it with them yeah keith it's your uh, turn no yeah keith. <laughs> i think come I on did, keith, i did the last one yeah you come want on. to do this I think you need to do it. it's an easy one all right i'll do it yeah right. yeah <laughs> Let me get out of your way. I'll move over here. here. Everyone's face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do I have to do here? All right. So the moves are B E A T. Beat those bombers. B E A T. Beat those bombers. <laughs> yes, B-E- <laughs> the I like too much. B those bombers. It's okay, you did great. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Way to go, Keith. Alright, Leanne, your dad commented here with a cheer. Do you want to read it or should I? I can't read it. 
I care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's maroon and white, maroon and white. These are the colors in which we fight Go Tribe. Oh, you got to say it Dutchy. Maroon, right? Maroon and white, maroon and white. Maroon and white. These, These are the, the colors for maroon. which we fight. See, I know what we're going to do. It's the I knew I would get you to do it. Figure it out. He's the champion. Babies can't figure it out, right? All right, you thought it's got to try that. Yeah, we're gonna. Here we talk. You would cheer now. Okay. So I don't know. Maroon and white. Maroon and white. Here's the colors for which we fight. Yes. You gotta say it, Dutchie. Uh, these are the colors for which we fight. Yeah. yeah. These are the colors for which we fight. Okay, guys, are you ready? <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should give it a shot. Yes. Yeah, yeah for sure. Just so, yeah. So, it's you have to say, say maroon and white. white. Yeah, maroon and white. These are the, the colors, colors for which we fight. fight. Now, maroon. when you say yeah. it, you, it's maroon and white. Okay, yes. If you, if you stand these up, you can read it. Oh, look at that. Right there. If you there. stand up, you can read it on the screen. Oh, well, let me find it here. There oh, okay. It. <laughs> These, These are, are the colors. colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can try. Okay. You ready? Ready? Okay. Ready? Okay. Yeah, you, you can stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta be, like, enthusiastic about it. Okay, okay. Here we go. Maroon and white, maroon and white. These are the colors for which we fight. Go try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, guys. We'll go back and teach. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Only I think the <laughs> older people in the, in the stand will be like, yeah. yeah. You get the old people. Yeah, but they're walkers. <laughs> Like you could probably get some people really like shocked and like excited. right. They'd be like, "Wait, why is yeah. it done? What?" I'll make motions. We can do it on. Don't worry. Okay. Jack was on it. <laughs> so look at you're getting a lot of hearts. Uh, job well done and stuff. <laughs> See, look at that. Yeah. You, you got to do it now. You have yeah. to do it out of game. Oh, I love right. it. We got it. You got it. We'll do it. All right. So you have an alumni cheerleading night. Uh, coming up in this season. What's that like being with the past old cheerleaders? People. They're not all old. <laughs> I, I said past. So, <laughs> so, crap. During our alumni, it's really like fun, I guess. Like some of them, like some of them are our friends, like they graduated last year, the year before. Like some of the girls we cheered with for varsity, but like it's really interesting to watch like our way of doing our dances and the way they did their dances it's like it's really cool and like very interesting on how they do it mm -hmm. and it's pretty fun like what some of us that have siblings that do it with us it's like we get to cheer with them when we were in middle school when they were seniors like it's stuff that we get to cheer with them yeah that is pretty neat that you have family together like that yeah we will actually have there is two daughters on the field this year that their moms will be cheering with them for alumni night. Oh, nice. So yeah. that's that's really cool. Um, the other thing that's real nice is our alum are amazing. They get shirts made up every year and then they actually create a lottery ticket basket. I don't know if that's what they're doing this year, but I know the past couple of years they did that. Um, with all the money that's left over after t-shirts, they make a lottery basket, they raffle it off at the game, and then they donate all the proceeds back to the girls so that they can help with purchasing mats or unit, like our parents club just bought us mats, that competition mats this year. They bought us new uniforms uh, for our younger girls. So um, our alum are amazing at giving back to us, so. Yeah, they're pretty good looking too. Pretty looking group of girls because I have a lot of them my friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I know school didn't start yet but next Friday or next week what part do you get in that game mode like here we go the season started? Like so the past like I think two years we've been doing like we all of us our city girls will get together like we'll go to somebody's house like it's a different house each week we'll eat like Somewhat of a healthy meal. There's so much in There's nothing healthy. It's about like pizza. Like fruit, Oreos. 
But it's like it's like a meal that we get to enjoy. Like we have fun, we play games. Like we even do it when school starts. But like it's a time like when we're all getting dressed. It's like we're music is jamming out. Like we're getting into the game of it. Like yeah, we're it's all like a sitting short little breaking. team bonding before we all go onto the field and have another great time. So is that, is that Thursday or Friday? Uh, we do Friday. it on Fridays. Right, after school. Yeah, right before the game, we all get ready to for the game together. And normally we all like carpool over yeah. to the school. All right, we're going to go to a commercial <coughs> break, and we'll be right back. They've become a solid member of the community in the past five years. They have the freshness and variety of their food. They're known for their warm customer service, friendly staff, lunch, specials, and fun food. It's Cindy's Deli, located next to Piper's Ice Dam in Franklin Township. A wide selection of sandwiches and wraps, which are prepared fresh daily. Sydney's Deli in Franklin Town. Sydney's Deli also announced that they will cheerleaders and I think they're pretty excited for the season. They're making me excited for the season. Yeah. Well, well you should us. be. Like, your colors are, I believe, maroon. I, I was going to say, you I might be like in poverty right now, but your true heart <laughs> I know. is across the bridge. Yeah. There you go. Across the bridge. Okay. So, so, you're, so you're saying when I go home, I, I need to sing my alma mater when I cross the bridge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm going to like, they sing a little bit. Like, they sing it a little differently now. What? what? Well, what? it's the same way, but the water is only blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 they used to say and green, right? Huh? Oh, we used to say that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 when I was yeah. in the band, they said, said blue and green. green, but when I joined the cheerleaders, I was like, no, one As the mascot this year, is he all ready to go for the year? Yeah, so. <laughs> so, our mascot, it's a bit kind of freaky, I'll leave it at. So, our old mascot <laughs> last year, which graduated, was Aiden. This year's mascot is Aiden. A different Aiden, different one. one. But he seems to like, he gets along with all, all of us. Like, he's also in like drama and like the drama club and everything. So like our girls and like theater, they all know him. So like they welcomed him in and then like they introduced us and it's like he's pretty cool, I'll leave it at that. He's yeah. pretty cool. He's so he's gonna bring some excitement around. Yeah, yeah he sure. actually has a new spear that one of the students at the school made for him. Hmm. So he's super excited. Um we he's he been horse having- now. I'm gonna leave that one to you. You can go to the school board tell him that he needs a horse. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, uh, don't don't give me a horse on a stick. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that would be ridiculous. But see, I function under like the motto: "It's easier to ask for." 
forgiveness. Yes, that's permission. So I think I really like my job. I'm just saying. I think, we, I think <laughs> we should just like for the first game for Pomeroy, we should just like get him on a horse, slap that horse in the head, <laughs> let him run into the stadium, and ride then, him on a horse, and then That'd be you know, cool. if That's they exactly say, well. hey, you should have done that, then we don't do it again. But at least it was good the first time. All right, we have, a, we have a lot of comments here. Wow, it's blowing up here. We even have Pom- oh, we okay. had Palmer and cheerleaders commenting on here. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the cops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's their police activity of the night. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girls, Cadence and I want to say to have a good season. We can't wait to cheer alongside of you all next Friday night. Yeah. But go Bombers. Oh. 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 You're going to take one of their snacks out of their goodie basket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we create goodie bags that we give to the visiting cheerleaders, and the girls create little baskets for them. So they're they're going to get one less snack. Oh. <laughs> we welcome I mean, all of our it's, it's, their, it's their job. Right? I get it. Yeah. All right, we have another one here. We height and will dominate with Megan and Cheer and her brother on the football team. <laughs> It's uh, Kathina. Cynthia. Uh, it says, um, says cheering you guys on from three hours away. Yeah. Go oh. try. Thank you. Go try. Go try. Go try. Go try. Go try. Drive in the pride. I mean, wait. <laughs> <laughs>
Indians. Ignite your spirit, stand up so we can hear it. L H S. L H S. Indians, let your spirit soar. Get loud and yell once more. L H S. Come on. L H S. Yeah. Yay! All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. <laughs> Have a great season this year. Good luck to you all. Yes, good luck, ladies. We'll see you all next time. We hope you enjoyed tonight's Colossal Community Podcast with your yeah, host, we're out here. Yeah. and Leanne. Yeah. 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 Yeah.